I'm going to finish this face with $10 makeup. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Rebecca. And today I have some makeup I have found at the drugstore that is kind of, um, you know, doesn't have a whole lot of buzz that I see on my YouTube feed or Instagram feed. And I think it's very worthwhile and it's also very affordable. So I thought I would share with you, some of it could just be, it's pretty new. Now my eye makeup looks a little weird because it's unfinished, but I wanted to share something with you that I found at the drugstore. And it's two things actually, it's the Joa, three things, four things. <laughs> It's the Joa Shadow Primer and the Joa Shadows, and I did talk about this in my Peter Thomas Roth video. So on this eye, I am wearing this shadow primer and these shadows. And then on my right eye, I am wearing the Neutrogena. This is their shadow primer that also is kind of like a shadow cream. You can use it as both shadow and primer. And it's a very pretty color, but it's a pearlescent and it is so much more subtle. And I am wearing the exact same shadows. It's just the intensity is so different. The Joa shadow primer really intensifies the Joa shadows and I'm assuming other shadows. Um, and it just, everything looks like, wow. Plus I think that it actually keeps them in place longer and prevents from any creasing or fading, but it also sets it to the point where they're very, they don't really blend after. So if you haven't blended quickly, you might find yourself kind of in a uh, situation where things are just a little bit severe and you're like, oops, I need to blend that out. But on this side, it stays kind of that you can manipulate it. And I think that both situations, there is a time and place for them. And so if shadows you kind of don't like when they're so pigmented and they're just so concentrated, you know, go with this primer and you'll really be pleased with the results because it'll keep things a little more subtle. It'll look nice and smooth, but it's not going to be like Teflon. And this is kind of like Teflon, which I kind of love. So the other item I'm wearing on both lids that actually kind of looks different because of what I used beforehand is the uh, Hard Candy Eye Def crayons and these are so cool. These were gifted to me. I have shade bubbly on right here. So this is the inner corner shade and it is so shimmery pearl. Like I guess you would call it like a champagne shade. Um, I actually prefer the way it looks on this eye because I feel like it has just a softness to it. It almost looks a little more peach and on this side it looks almost silvery. I, I don't know if that's me. I just, I don't know what's going on here, but it is interesting how uh, things look different and they're the same sounds contradictory. Then I have cold brew. I love this shade. This shade has such a good, oh, I just, I love it because it's kind of, um, you know, it's brown, but it's also a little bit reddish and coppery and it looks so pretty by itself if you want to do just a one and done, but look how different it looks even as well. So I like tried to, I kind of blended out the, the bubbly with the cold brew meeting in the middle and it's very different. They're both very different. I think I'll look better if I put mascara on. This new one from Maybelline though has significant promise. So it is the Falsy Surreal. The one that was kind of in this tube shape that was white with yellow, was that the Super Bounce? I didn't like that. It just didn't grip my lashes. My lashes are so fine and thin and there's just not a lot of them and they're not very long. And I felt like a lot of people who love that mascara were probably people who had like maybe a thicker lash to begin with. But this mascara, so the Surreal, I found this at Target. I think it's $9.99 at Target. It has a bristle 
brush that the wand is very, I mean, it looks like your standard mascara wand. It has no different shape. It, you know, it's pretty dense. So what I like to do is I like to apply it at the base of my lashes. I kind of wiggle and then I kind of roll. It sounds like either a dance or a uh, safety, <laughs> like what to do in case of fire. Wiggle, roll, drop. No, that's stop, drop, and roll. But I, I roll it up the lashes. I saw someone do that once. <laughs> so now I'm doing that. And I try to kind of just touch every lash along the base, including these little tiny baby ones on the inside. My inside lash lashes are so tiny. So that kind of gives a good start. And then I'm going to keep going, kind of blink, kind of roll. There you go. Wiggle, roll, blink. Okay, and then while that sort of sets, I'm gonna go on the other lash. You guys, this is my process. Normally I don't do mascara on camera because I like to take my time. I don't wanna feel rushed. I always get it on the upper lid. Oftentimes I don't put my cream shadow on like the, the cream pencil until after my mascara because then I can just put it over my mistakes, but we'll see. Okay, so same thing, base wiggle, base wiggle. All right, so here I am. I like it. It's really good. Um, I didn't, normally I do like a mascara cocktail and I didn't today. All right, so this is good enough right now for my eye makeup. I will talk to you though about my eyebrow pencil. So I got this eyebrow pencil from Joa. They have new ones in the, they're a very slim, they call them sm smudge proof and long wear. Ooh, waterproof too? Okay, cool. Typically I wear like a taupe or a blonde, but in this case I'm wearing the dark brown because I feel like it gives a good solid base and doesn't look too warm against my roots. Okay, so here is chocolate brown. That's chocolate brown. Hang on. Here's blonde. The blonde is a great shade, I think, and it actually, even though it does pull a little warm on me, it's okay, because my hair, my hair is pretty golden, so I'm okay with it, but today I felt like the dark brown. Okay, so that's the blonde, and then let me show you the dark brown that I'm wearing, which I know, it's a little, so there's dark brown. So you've got chocolate brown, blonde, and dark brown. And the dark brown is actually kind of reddish too, but uh, it works. Maybe I should wear the chocolate instead. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, but these are great. And I think they're like $9 on Amazon and I'm really, really liking them. This part I'm so excited about. Let's talk about concealer. These concealers from the brand Thread, which is available at Target. and. I I, th I think it's a black owned makeup brand and I think it's a women, black women owned makeup brand, which is so great. You can use the face sticks like concealers and you can use the concealers kind of blended with foundation. Like what I love about them is they're $7 and they have a variety of shades, mostly catering to darker skins and warm skins, but there's some of the, I picked up some of the pale shades so that you can see how I incorporate them. But if you're a makeup artist and you don't wanna spend a ton of money, but you want some cream products that have deep tones in them to either deepen 
other shades you have or help your contouring or whatever it is, these are so good. The pigmentation, the amount you get, the quality for the price. So I have shade 01 and 03 in the concealers and these are kind of like shape tape. I know that's a huge claim for me to say, but these are so full coverage. And the one is a little too pale and the three is a little too yellow. I think if I mix the one and the three, I'll kind of have my perfect shade. And um, I'm going to show you the three. It looks actually, looks pretty good. Okay, and do you see now though how pale the one is? I am going to take my concealer brush and I'm gonna kind of use the back of my hand like a palette and I'm gonna dip in the one and also in the three, kind of mix them. And then I'm gonna go in here and I think I still might be a little, little pale. But do you, I mean, I don't know if you can see how pigmented it is, but it's, it's very pigmented. Let me do a little more of the three. <laughs> yeah. I think what I need is like the three, but with a touch of the one, um, cause the one on its own is definitely too light here. But I just think the three, I think it's the right shade, but the wrong tone. But when has that ever stopped me, you know? They claim these to be a cover. So it's a multi-use. Actually, these are considered multi-use complexion. So again, it's really a multi-product, a multi-use product. It's up to you how you want to use it and it's how you prefer your medium. You know, do you like the cream versus the liquid, excuse me, versus the stick? Because they also have these, the stick product. And uh, yeah, so here is the concealer and I just love it. And then, so then you've got these multi-use sticks and you can use these for a number of things too. Bronzer, concealer, foundation. Um, this is, o, I have 01, 02, and 150. I bought these when they first came out from Target and then I just bought this last week. Look at how dark that is. Look at that. And it is so pigmented. It is so, so pigmented. So <clears throat> I'm going to take 20. It's a little, it's a little bit too yellow for me. Okay. So the 10 is actually pretty yellow as well. In fact, I think I like the 20 better, but I have one of my favorite things to do is to use this black radiance contour slash skin corrector as a contour. And it's obviously not my shade for a color corrector, but for a contour, it's kind of perfect because it is just the right undertone. So I'm mixing. So that's what this reminds me of. And I'm mixing the thread to show you how you can so if this is going to be like your foundation shade, I think you'll really enjoy the texture and the coverage. I love these sticks as just all kinds of stuff. Like, I just think they're so brilliant. No fragrance, no, nothing sort of ridiculous to make it you know, no huge claims. It's just like, it's pigmentation and it's, it's makeup. <laughs> uh, I just love it. Okay. So 
And sometimes you can find a product and you love it and it's high end and you really love it and you can't find a, a affordable equivalent because of the undertone. And so honestly, we need, we just need, we need shades and tones as many as possible. And then, you know, we can, everyone gets included. Okay, so. I don't know who can see me. I am wearing the Peter Thomas Roth primer and I put the L'Oreal True Match in C3 over the top of it and I have not powdered and I am very happy with my complexion right now and I think everything just goes on so smoothly and I just don't feel the need to powder. All right, 2023 is the year for lip oils. My gosh, they are everywhere. Everyone's making them. They are of all price points. And right now, the popular ones that everyone is raving about are the NYX Fat Oil and the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Yummy. <laughs> None of them say, look at me, I am a lip oil that is a quarter of the cost of the Dior lip oil. <laughs> but that's what we are all saying. And this one is shade Mist Call. Now, I think that they have more of a change in flavor with just a slight effect in the change of color. I'm gonna put this one on without anything else and you can see Okay, so the doe foot is huge on this one. And it tastes like strawberries. You know, it tastes really good. You can use this almost as a lip mask. You can just use it as a gloss. You can just use it as a moisturizer. It's really up to you. This one is called um, Your Daily Dose. This one is very orangey. I like, and then look at the doe foot on the cover girl, it's huge. I think, see, I bought the NYX because a bunch of you were like on Instagram telling me to try the NYX. But I actually think I like the cover girl better. The cover girl is oilier and the NYX, yeah, the NYX is a, a little bit of a more sticky, even though it's called oil, right? For me, I find the CoverGirl to be more slippery and oil-like, and for the NYX to be a little more, a little more tacky, and I don't really see a shade change for my lips. While those are sitting on my lips, I wanted to show you a liquid blush from number seven, one of their reformulations and also new line. So they have a lip and cheek tint. These are $7, I think, and I picked up shade Dusk Pink. And look at that. It's, um, it reminds me of the Maybelline the cheek, um, yeah, it's sheer, it's a little dewy. I'm gonna put some right here. It, no, it has, it has a scent, but it's only, it's like makeup ingredients, chemicals. It's not, um, it's not like floral or anything like that. But it's very sheer, it's such a nice wash. They have a very, it's got kind of a moisturizing feel to it and it doesn't stay tacky. So it blends nicely and it's not like it's leaving any kind of finish or feeling. So I'm gonna use a favorite lip liner of mine and that is the NYX Line Loud, I love this. Born to Hustle. I might go over it with, ooh, I like this though. 
It's so pretty. This is going to be like summer. Okay. And then I'm actually going to take my Mented Nude Liner. Love this. Okay, you guys. And this nude, if you want like a nude that has a little more depth and doesn't wash you out. Hang on, I gotta do my, my lower lip line is crooked. My lower lip is not symmetrical, so I have to balance it. All right, so now what I'm going to do is these new Soft Kisses Nourishing Lipsticks from the Lip Bar. I found this in my Target and oh, I love these. So they are definitely a hybrid balm lipstick, but they're matte, but they're not really matte. They have pigment, so it's not like, what did I just put on because I don't see anything, which I have to say, some of the soft matte lip balms do not have a whole lot of coverage. This is perfect, and I have the shade Bear Me, and I also have Vexed, and I think it's Terra, no, Toasted. This is such a good, look at it, it's like pinky, mm. pinky mauve. I might uh, go in natural light and adjust the line if it's too, it might be too brown, I don't know. Hang on. See, that's why. Then you take this again, just kind of go over it. You just want a shadow. You just want that darker pencil to be a, a shadow to just trick the eye that your lips are kind of fuller, a little overdrawn, but not exaggerated. Yeah. And I just kind of, I like to blot with my finger. So that's everything and it is just fun to find stuff right around the $10, a little bit under, a little bit over, but not much, you know. And um, yeah, so if you haven't found these brands or these items yet in your stores or you haven't tried them, see if you think they're as exciting as I do. Joa, um, definitely you can get that at CVS um, and the others I think are, are pretty much Target but I'll list everything in the description box and that I found where I find it online and uh, feel free to shop through those links. And if you do, I get a little commission and I really appreciate that. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good March. It's very bleak and dark and I know that daylight savings is now upon us and it's brighter longer, but honestly, I miss that hour of sleep. I miss it. Where did you go, spring forward? Where did you go? Alrighty, take care, I'll see you next time, bye.